Cat7 Ethernet is officially dead. And if you don't believe me, then let me explain. I'm Michael Scott, and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Cat7, also known as Category 7 Ethernet, was ratified way back in 2002, even before Cat6A was developed. And that's just one of the many issues with Cat7 that we're going to talk about today. Cat7 was the first Ethernet type to offer 10 gigabits per second over 100 meters. And Cat7 can provide up to 600 megahertz of bandwidth. And that's pretty impressive. And these specifications are quite a bit higher than Cat6 cables. Although Cat7 capabilities fall very close to Cat6A, which debuted two years later. Even though Cat7 was designed as a 10 gigabit cable, it actually proved to be more powerful in real world use. In some cases, Cat7 cables were able to transmit 40 gigabits per second over 50 meters and 100 gigabits per second over 15 meters. And that's pretty impressive, especially since Cat7 cables are not rated for that kind of speed. But it does prove that Cat7 was a very good cable when it launched in 2002. But even with those speeds, Cat7 wasn't widely adopted, and that's kind of strange. Cat7 cables have a stricter standard for crosstalk than Cat6, but roughly the same as Cat6A. It typically achieves this with tighter twisting of the internal wires. But you can also get Cat7 cables that have shielding of the twisted pairs. And even a braid or foil wrap which doubles the layer of the shielding. While Cat7 cables do sound great on paper, especially considering when it was released in 2002, however, there are many compelling reasons why Cat7 is not as useful as Cat6A or even Cat8. And the main reason is that the Cat7 specification is a proprietary standard developed by a group of companies. Which means Cat7 is not an IEEE standard or approved by the TIA EIA. And to make matters worse, Cat7 does not use the typical RJ45 connectors. Instead, Cat7 uses GG45 connectors. However, it is backwards compatible with RJ45 connectors and most networking equipment, which means this does work with all routers and switches. And the lack of approval and the use of an alternative connector means that networking hardware developers have focused their support for 10 gig ethernet for the RJ45 connector and not the GG45 connector. And the lack of conformity with the prior cable standards means that Cat7 is basically dead. And this ultimately drove the development of Cat6A two years later. And Cat6A became more popular, which also added to the confusion. And marketing Cat6A cables is difficult when Cat7 sounds better and newer. And Cat7 is a higher category number than Cat6A, so there's a ton of confusion and once again, very strange. And yes, this has resulted in some sellers using Cat7 to sell Cat6A cables. So make sure to check specifications before you buy on Amazon. And to make matters worse and more confusing, Cat8 was developed in 2016. And Cat8 uses RJ45 connectors. And Cat8 provides 40 gigabits per second over 30 meters and an astonishing 2000 megahertz of bandwidth. And Cat8 does come in a wide range of shielding options. And some Cat8 cables have splines or foil or braided shielding. And as far as cost goes, Cat8 is slightly more expensive than Cat7, but not by much. Unlike Cat7, Cat8 is officially recognized by the IEEE and the TIA EIA. In side-by-side -side comparisons, Cat8 is a better cable than Cat7 in all aspects. It's just the facts proving that Cat7 is officially dead. So with all this information, consider buying Cat6A or Cat8 instead. And if you want more information on Cat8 cables, check out this video right here. And if you're in the market for a badass gaming router, check out this video right here. High five. Peace. Yeah.